Hey guys, it's Chris, and as many of you know, I am writing a book. I just did a video about two weeks ago on the five top tips I've learned so far as a new writer, and one of those tips I gave, which I will link in the description below, and it should be popping out right here somewhere, was organization. And what I did for organization and what I'm still doing to organize while I'm writing my book to keep all these thoughts and storylines and characters and places, etc., all written down somewhere in a place so I can keep track of everything and keep my timeline straight, history, etc. So I don't make any major mistakes that like, for example, if I'm referencing a past event that didn't happen in the current storyline, I want that past event to be correct and all that good stuff. So organization is very important. And again, I'll link that video in the description below. And really quickly, what I mentioned in that video as far as organization and what I'm doing is as I write, I will highlight things in bold, such as characters, locations, religions, etc so I can go back and add it to a separate document, which I use OneNote, and keep those separated in tabs as far as different places, animals, flora in the world, religions, characters, all that good stuff, all the stuff you're trying to keep up with in a story. And so far it's worked fine for me, but I found a tool a couple weeks ago that I wanted to tell you guys about. And let me say right up front, this is not a sponsored video, but I'm gonna show you a couple examples here of how this works, just the basics, because I'm not very deep into it yet. But this would be a tool that I highly encourage already for uh, new writers and existing writers to use to organize your thoughts and world building and all that good stuff. And that's what exactly what this is. This is called World Anvil. So I'm going to switch over to a different screen right now and show you what I'm doing uh, as we do this. And I'll go through a couple of examples of how this thing works. This is an outstanding tool. All right, so let me switch over to my screen here and we'll get started. I just wanted to give you a couple of examples of how this works and what I'm doing so far. So this is my account here, uh, World Anvil. You can actually sign up for free. You can use most of these tools completely free, although there are some paid versions to help them out as well, but they're very, very cheap. For example, my subscription is $4 a month and this allows me to do a lot more things. Um, it allows you to share your content with certain people, for example, Patreons, which is what I'm doing already, and I'm going to start sharing this page so my Patreons, who are going to be my beta readers in this novel, can start exploring my world as I go in and create different places and landmarks and religions and history and all that stuff. They can start exploring the world. And this includes maps as well, and I'll get to that in just a few minutes. But anyway, what I have here is this is World Anvil, and I have created my basic world here, and it starts off, um, and so this is my dashboard page. So the name of my world or realm in, in this novel is going to be Osgoth. So here's your dashboard page. As you can see here, you have Osgoth and there's a little drop down here. But you have campaigns, characters, notebooks, uh, all that good stuff. Now this is also for RPG role-playing games as well, so people use that as well. But this is definitely a writer's tool and I highly suggest it. So Osgoth here, you got summary, explorer articles, categories, maps, timelines, images, secrets, to-do lists, characters, etc. And this is really user-friendly. There is a slight learning curve in some aspects of it, and I won't get into all the details here. I may do an in-depth, detailed thing later on how to use this in all the different aspects once I learn a little bit better myself. But I wanted to show you just enough to get let you know how easy this is to use because essentially it becomes the wiki for your world. So you have all these different uh, categories here where you can create uh, the first thing you do is you go to your main your main uh, world or whatever. So you start out with the first article, and again, here's mine, Osgoth here, and it's basically a little a little description of the world, you know, going over a couple landmarks here and there, kind of an overall like bird's eye view, 10,000 foot view, so to speak, of the world, and that's what essentially you use to start this process. Now, the really cool thing here, as you can see down to below this, um, I, I have all my links to Twitter and YouTube and all that stuff as well, because you can put all that in there as well, also as a Patreon. But you can see here, recent articles. So these are the couple articles that I've started working on a little bit for different places and things. So for example, I will go to Wolf Pine here, and I created this article on its own. This is my first article. And what you can see here is I've created a location name and a little paragraph here to kind of describe Wolf Pine and what it is in the story, just an overview again. And you can add as much detail as you want here. Uh, but this is right now just kind of a general overview of each location. And as I build this world and get more in depth in it, uh, I will be able to uh, add more detail, etc. But the cool thing about this is, is when you start mentioning some of these places, for example, I have here Wolf Pine. The ancient castle Wolf Pine is the seat of House Black Sun in the current capital of Osgoth and ruling seat of Vegamar, one of the original 12 kingdoms. 
So, for example, that line right there, it picks up on Osgoth, House Black Sun, Vegamar, etc. And you can see it starts to auto link here on the side to other articles that you can then go in and edit. So it essentially becomes a wiki page. So, for example, uh, it gives you the alternative name. I called it the capital. Uh, type of area, geography, rolling hills of pine wood. So it just says forest here. Uh, under location, Vegamar. So wolf pine is in Vegamar, which is in Osgoth. So it's, you can start at a big, you know, high level view of your of your realm or your world and work your way all the way down to a village or a room in a village for that matter, uh, just to a single character. Um, so we auto links. I have uh, the owner or slash ruler, William Blackson. He is the Lord of Wolf Pine at this point. Uh, owning organization House Black Sun and contested by the Great Council. Uh, the contested by is not really correct, so I will fix that because it's not really contested. The Great Council will actually be in Wolf Pine, or it is right now. So if I click one of these other ones, for example, Vegamore, uh, this gives you automatic links to a new article that I can now go in and edit. Now, I have not put anything in here because this is an individual kingdom or used to be. But again, as I do that, I can start filling out uh, other locations and it will start linking everything together. And I'm gonna give you an example how to do that. So if I go back over here, for example, to the Great Council, I did do a little article on this just today, uh, just to give you an example. So here's the Great Council. And this little red thing right here, by the way, is a little private note. So this wouldn't be seen publicly. Uh, I just said add the proper dates later to establish the timeline. I'm still working in my head how exactly I want to do the timeline. I have a general idea, but until that's set, I don't want to create anything to go back and have to change later. So anyway, I have here the Great Council was created over a decade ago. William Blackson is the current Lord of Wolfpine and the last King of Asgoth. Abdicated his crown in favor of a ruling council of lords from across the realm, etc., etc. And as you can see here, Wolfpine and uh, William Blackson are highlighted here because that would take you to another article on William Blackson, for example, which I have not yet started. But let me show you how to do that really quickly. Uh, again, this won't be a full tutorial. I may do that later. I just want to show you the benefits of this, uh, and maybe you guys can learn along with me. You guys who are out there thinking about writing and you want to keep organized, as I said in the original tips video. So anyway, for example, if I want to go and edit the, this world, so I go to Edit World. Uh, this is the world introduction. As I said, this is where you would start. Um, this, you know, as far as the the main, you know, overview of your world. But then you go down here to um, uh, articles. I'm sorry. And here is the articles that I've started, or at least have already been pre-linked. So for example, if I go to the Great Council, I will click Edit Article. And you can also add pictures and everything. You can completely customize this to how you want. You can upload maps, and I'll show you one thing about the maps in a second. But you can see, for example, here, if I go to, uh, I'll actually edit this to show you how this works. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to take away, this is a piece of code that you'll see. But I wanted to start this with William Blackson and link to William Blackson. So I would just simply type at in a couple letters, and this will pop up from something I've already typed. And I just select William Black Sun, so it puts this piece of code in here, and that allows when you view the article it to link to the William Black Sun article. So it's, again, once you start doing this quite a bit, it starts to become a wiki of your entire world. Uh, let's say, for example, I wanted to add a photo. I would just go down here, for example, and click photo. Now, what I've already done over here is add images. I've uploaded an image. You click here. You simply click upload image. And then, for example, uh, actually, I'll do that. I'll save this for a second. And again, this won't be in depth. This, I just want to show you a couple little things to show you how to start linking these things together. But if you go over here to images, I just uploaded an image. It has nothing to do with my world yet because I don't have that artwork yet. So I uploaded an old Children of the Forest picture from YouTube uh, that I've used in many YouTube videos. Uh, you would just basically grab this number right here. So you can copy that number, which is uh, auto-assigned once you upload it. I go back to my articles. And then I will go down here to the Great Council, for example, and edit that again, just like I did before. Let's say I want to drop a picture in here, and this would be a picture of the Great Council or whatever. Go down here and click the little image button. And then right here, it brings up this little uh, code. This is like um, code that you would see in a bulletin board, for example. And I would just simply paste in that, that image number right there. So it's image, and then you have the image number there. Click Save Changes. And once it's saved, then I can go back to articles and then click view, which I would scroll down here to do a great council, click view article. And now you can see I have the same article now with this picture here um, that would be the one that would actually correspond to the article, obviously. This is just a, a random example, so I'll go back and remove this. 
So real quickly, I wanted to show one more little feature really quick before we get out of here. Uh, and this is really cool because instead of going in and having to write all these separate articles and trying to remember and keep up with all the different things to link together, you can create what's called a placeholder, very similar to how I just linked up that article with the little at symbol with characters I already have or articles I already have written. So let's say, for example, I can go in here to, um, I'll just go to uh, Cyric and I'll edit this article. Now this is one that I started, so uh, I'll just put his name here, uh, Cyric Black Sun. This is the son of the current Lord uh, of, of Wolf Pine, as I mentioned. Um, Black Sun is spelled that way. So I would just go in here and type, you know, Cyric uh, is the eldest son, yada, 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 um, of, and then I will do at William. Uh, this is, again, what I just showed you. It'll automatically link William Blackson in there. Okay, so let's say I want to type something in here about Cyric, but I don't have an article on a location. So let's say that he likes to go visit some location. Let's say the Smoking Wood, for example. So Cyric, this character, likes to go head out and go camping and, and hunting and hawking and all that stuff in the Smoking Wood. But I don't have an article on the Smoking Wood yet. So this is what's called a placeholder. And this is what's really cool about keeping track of everything. And this automatically does this for you. So I would type something like, Cyric uh, enjoys uh, heading out into the wilds. You know, and I'll go in and, and edit all this later. Uh, of the, and I'm going to put, um, instead of, so I don't have an article for the Smoking Wood. This is how I create one. At the smoking wood, uh, I might want to spell smoking right, the, the smoking wood, and then I would simply do here location, and that gives the uh, program or the website th that anything comes after add and then location tells me, tells it it's going to be an article, so that's what's called a placeholder. So I'll simply save that, save the changes, and I go to Cyric and I view it, you will see now that this has a link. So here's William Blackson, which was already an article, and here is the placeholder, The Smoking Wood, which will now be a new article I just created. So when I click that, there's obviously nothing there yet. It's bringing me to this creation page where I, it's already got the title because I named it that in that other article. And now I'd go in here and type, you know, whatever I wanted to do about what The Smoking Wood is in that location. So very, very cool stuff here. I highly recommend, uh, you know, World Anvil. Um, and then again, I'll go back to uh, the summary and give you an example of uh, Osgoth. So if you Osgoth here, this is the main page. And then again, you go to recent articles and I can link anything from that too as well. So I'll go back and edit that. So then you have all these articles with now the links and everything. And then um, the articles even that you hadn't written uh, still has links in these locations. So I highly recommend World Anvil, really cool. And what's really cool is what I was going to mention earlier is you can actually upload your own maps. I did find a great map creating website that's for games, RPG games, uh, whatever, or this type of thing, world building and you know writing a fantasy novel or any kind of novel for that matter, uh, just saying fictional place that you wanna create maps for. Uh, I won't go into it here, but it's called Incarnate. And here an example of what I've started for my main map here. Now, as you can see, it's not done. It's mainly blobs of land here. I won't go into the details here. Um, I'll just show you, for example, that you can zoom in uh, and drag this up here, and then you can start taking out areas. So if I want to shape this area right here, I would just go into the land tool here and click subtract, uh, change the size of my circle there, and then I can start taking out little chunks of land and really creating what I want as far as the look and feel of this location. Uh, so if I want to make that a little bit more of a peninsula right there, I could go do that. Um, then I could you know, zoom out and start to, and you can color and add all kinds of crazy stuff. So we'll go into this later as far as incarnate. But the point is, is once I create this map here, I save this map and download it. Then I can upload it over here to my actual uh, gallery and go create um, and, and create it as my banner. So when you go to, this will be up here where you see this banner for Osgoth. So instead of having... Uh, this little world anvil icon here, you would actually see my personal maps that I've created for this world. Uh, so that's really, really cool. An example right here, you see this edit Osgoth. 
Uh, this is the kind of default map you get when you come when you you know start an account. But I would simply you know save that map that is created in in incarnate, for example, or wherever you do them. You can be a hand drawn map, whatever, as long as it's a picture you can upload. And then I would select upload cover image and it would appear right here so people can see that once I share they can start actually seeing the world and then you can link maps to other maps so if you click one region for example it would kind of go down to the map of that region then I could click maybe a town or a city in that region so world anvil allows you to do it all it's really really cool so far the world wiki essentially for your world or your universe or whatever you're doing for your story or your book I really just wanted to kind of expand on the whole get organized tip that i gave in the prior video and this is a great tool to do it so anyway guys i'm sorry i didn't mean to ramble that long but anyway i wanted to kind of it, i'm really excited about it because it keeps everything straight and it starts linking together and creating this whole wiki of your world and it really makes things a lot easier Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. As usual, thank you for all the support, especially you guys on Patreon. And by the way, guys, there are already two chapters on Patreon, so please consider joining Patreon to become a beta reader and start exploring this world with me as I build it. Uh, also, a huge shout-out to my executive Patreon smoke screen producers, as well as new channel members. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think. And if you dig what I do here, please give these videos a like, comment, and a share. And of course, be sure to subscribe to get everything and click that notification bell so you're notified when I drop a new video. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.